Alright guys, I know I haven't posted in a while, apologies. Uh, I have been suffering really bad from a very bad allergy attack. Uh, I started, I think, Monday of last week. Um, and it has just been, allergies have just been kicking my butt. I've had a really bad cough, a really bad sore throat. Feeling a bit better, I'm feeling like probably 75 to 80% better, so that's good. Um, but allergy season comes a bit earlier here in Texas because it gets warmer sooner, so of course grass is going to grow sooner, trees are going to grow back sooner, flowers are going to grow back sooner, pollen's going to come back sooner, everything is going to come back sooner related to allergies because uh, that's just how it is. So I've been really suffering bad from really bad allergies. I have really bad allergies, so that's why I haven't vlogged in a while because uh, I honestly wasn't in the state to vlog. And, uh, and yeah, so, but I'm back, glad to be back, missed you guys, and I'm glad to get this vlog started today. Guys, welcome back. I've missed you guys, honestly, I really have. Glad to be back, welcome back to the vlog, everybody, if you guys don't know what I'm doing. Welcome back, glad to be back. Like I said, missed you guys, really have. My allergies have, like I said, have been killing me. Oh my gosh, I don't even know where to begin. But I'm glad to be back. Look at skateboarding over there, hey. Try out some new tricks. Nice. Um, but yeah, so glad to be back. Uh, extremely glad to be back, if I could fix my thing. Extremely glad to be back. And uh, and yeah, so I had a crazy last week. Last week was crazy and it felt so long. Glad today's Saturday, to be honest with you guys. Oh my gosh. A bit chilly today. I think it's like 65 degrees, so a bit chillier today. Uh, but I think tomorrow's gonna be like 70, so that's, gonna, that's good. But I'm extremely glad to be back. I miss you guys a whole ton. And I'm glad to be doing this again. <laughs> Let me set this up here. There we go. Guys, all right, I don't even know where to begin, to be honest with you guys. Don't tell me it's gonna start raining. Please don't start raining. But yeah, I don't even know where to begin, to be honest with you guys. It's been a crazy last week. I have, this week has just felt so long. I haven't had a day off this week, uh, and that day was Tuesday. And I, uh, I still felt like I was, like, this, the week just dragged on so very interesting to say the least so yeah uh, so I don't even know where to begin but glad to be at it again again apologies for the bit of the hiatus it wasn't by choice I uh, didn't want to take a hiatus but I kind of had to because can't really film when your voice is all like groggy and stuff like that I you know can't really do that so but my voice is not groggy anymore, at least it's not as groggy as it once was, so that's good. And then also my nose was also clogged. It still is a little clogged, especially when I sleep and stuff, but that's just how allergies are, unfortunately. All right, changing locations. I'm gonna take cover under this playground for a second, because it is starting to rain. How do I get in this thing? How do we get in here? Probably, I'm, I'm too big for this. <laughs> Let me squeeze in right here. Ah. Okay, we're good. My head touch? Oh, uh, yep, it pretty much does. My head pretty much does touch the ceiling. Yeah, but like I was saying before it started to rain on me, really glad to be back. Missed you guys a whole ton. And a lot has been going on from, I did start driving, yeah, so from me starting to drive today, I got my learner's permit a couple days ago, so I've started to drive first time in the car today. Bit nerve-wracking. Of course, there's other cars on the road, and it's not necessarily me that I'm worried about, it's other cars on the road and what they're gonna do, because people drive like absolute maniacs here in Texas, uh, and there's nothing I can really do about that so people are just idiots so that's but that's okay but we 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 we, uh, we fight around it <laughs> from that and I'm also going to my first piano lesson I think next week so pretty excited about that I'm gonna be learning the piano because I already know how to play the guitar I just don't know how to play the piano so the piano is like the only instrument that I've always wanted to play so really excited to uh, get to that lesson and start learning how to play piano so super duper excited for that and then and then yeah so and a lot of other stuff has been going on as well so but it's just been a crazy hectic time in my life so so much change at once and it's very very uh not scary but very nerve-wracking and very uh very unknown because the change is very unknown but that's okay Yeah, well, like I was saying, so much change has been happening at once, and it's very, very quick change, rapid change, and honestly, sometimes um, it's hard to deal with change, but sometimes you sort of just have to deal with it, no matter the situation, so I know a lot of change has been happening in my life, and it's happening very suddenly, and sometimes I don't know how to deal with that, but that's okay. Uh, that's part of the reason why I do this vlog. It helps me deal with change, uh, helps me de-stress, it helps me really collect my thoughts and my feelings all in the one place, and I can share that with you guys, which I think is really cool. 
So, uh, so yeah, but it's uh, change is something that is difficult for a lot of people to deal with, but it's a skill that uh, is uh, very important to have. And honestly, as it is right now, I feel like the world is just hanging on by a thread and we're so just fragmented and split and divided and yeah, and that really sucks. But that's where Raw and Uncut comes in. So yeah, guys, the one and only Raw and Uncut is back for its second season, I guess. So let's do it, Raw and Uncut, roll the intro. Hi, I'm Bond. Just like many of you, I live a crazy, wacky, weird, wild life. And sometimes life just spins way too out of control. And sometimes, the only way I can feel better about that is to talk to a camera. Welcome to the segment I like to call Raw and Uncut. From daily stuff I see in the news that's non political, to other things that are going on in our crazy, chaotic world and mine. No cuts, no edits. Welcome to Raw and Uncut. All right, guys, welcome back to Raw and Uncut. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying as much as I am. Uh, I do have to switch locations. Today's Raw and Uncut is gonna be a bit short, but I have a lot of material to cover, so it's gonna be a bit hard to cover all the material, but I will try my best. So, because I do have to be home soon. Guys, where do I even begin? This week has been crazy. So many events have happened this week. So much change, so much, so much negative things have happened this week. I want to first and foremost give my condolences to the people of Indianapolis. Uh, they unfortunately, I believe it was in, in Indianapolis, a gunman walked into a FedEx uh, like distribution center, I believe killed a, a couple people and also injured uh, a couple more. So I want to give my condolences to the people of Indianapolis and the, to the people of uh, FedEx, uh, to the many people who work at FedEx. We appreciate you guys delivering our packages. You guys deliver essential packages, medications, you know, everything, vaccines especially. So we appreciate all you guys do for us and uh, and yeah so we really appreciate you guys you guys are uh, the unspoken heroes of this pandemic um, I also want to uh, also give uh, my condolences to I believe I don't forget his name hang on guys give me one second I'm gonna look up his name real quick so Dante Wright I want to give my condolences to his family if you guys don't know Dante Wright he was shot by a female police officer who mistaked her taser, or mistaked her gun for her taser. She meant to reach for a taser, but instead she discharged her gun. I don't buy that. That is ridiculous. How can you mistake a gun uh, for a taser? That is just absurd. Like, they're two different things. A taser is yellow, or sometimes they're black. I've seen them be other colors before. They're usually yellow. Um, and then the gun is usually black and it's usually a little heavier. Uh, taser is a little lighter than uh, a gun, depending on the gun. I'm assuming she used a Glock, probably Glock 19. That's what most police stations and officers use. So yeah, it's, it's very, uh, very sad, very, very sad. And it's just, it's this whole black against the police is really getting out of hand really, really quickly. I know a CNN crew, sorry, I'm looking now on the phone guys a lot because I'm just reading stuff about the uh, Dante Wright shooting, but I know a scene and crew got got were actually like they had eggs and uh sort of their car because they were trying to cover the events and protesters were throwing like eggs and sort of stuffing at their car and like you know pushing them and things like that i stand with those protesters i do i get it i get free speech i get all of that i got a right to protest i get that i stand with them but i do not stand with them when they start attacking news crews and pummeling eggs at people's camera equipment in people's cars, that's not okay. Or vandalizing things, that's also not okay. But also, it's, uh, you know, it, it's just a fine line of, you know, what's right and what's wrong. And it, it's very sad. Also, um, I know the ar that army lieutenant, I don't know if you guys saw, that army lieutenant, he was pepper sprayed. He was following orders, following commands. Uh, he was pepper sprayed by, ooh, that's a beat. He was pepper sprayed by a Virginia police officer. And uh, I believe it was like a Virginia State Trooper. He was pepper sprayed at a gas station and uh, he was following orders, following all the commands that the officers were giving him. He's an Army Lieutenant, so 
of course he's gonna do that and uh, and yeah it's just ridiculous like really and they push him to the ground and he was black of course so you know it's just it's ridiculous and seeing this stuff really hurts me uh, I am of mixed race I'm not of uh, completely black race, but I, I definitely do stand up the black community uh, because it, it really, really sucks. We shouldn't have to live in a society where we have to fear the people that are there to protect us, you know. Uh, it feels like everybody's just against the police right now. Um, policing in this country is very broken and it's something that needs to be fixed. I'm going to try not to get too political here, I, you know, I'm really trying to refrain from that, but it's just a common uh, fact and truth that uh, policing in this country is very fragmented and broken and it needs to be reformed and it needs to be fixed. Whether that's defunding the police or whatever it may be, it, policing in this country really needs to be fixed. That's just the bottom line uh, because we shouldn't have to live in a society where we have to fear is the people that are there to protect us. You should also know the difference between a taser and a gun, especially if you're a 26 vet year veteran on a police force. That's just no bueno. Like that, you know, it's just common sense. Like, come on. Like if you don't understand the difference between a taser and a gun, you shouldn't allow to be carried you shouldn't allow to be carrying a weapon at all. Uh, but yeah, so I think it's gonna do it for Onika today because if I keep talking, I'm just gonna ramble on. So I think that's gonna do it. I do have to get home soon as well, so yeah. But if you guys are wondering where I was, I was sort of on this like playground. So if I sort of looked like I was like on the top of the world, that's why, because uh, I was just on this playground. So yeah, I use the playground sometimes as my uh, recording studio, which is, quite fun sometimes so it's fun to use the playground as a uh, recording see you so thank you playground really appreciate you uh, it brings me back to my days as a, when I was a kid and I used to play on the playground so uh, so yeah all right guys I don't have any time lapse footage for the day so I think today is going to be a drone only vlog so get ready for a drone montage in three two one Alright guys, I think this is going to do it for me, because uh, the sun is starting to set, uh, so I do have to get home soon, so yeah. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's vlog, sorry I haven't posted in a while, allergies have been killing me, but glad to be back to my normal, regular schedule, at least I hope. Uh, so yeah, but glad to see you guys again, really missed you guys, uh, and as I always say, wherever you guys are, every time you guys are watching this, I hope you guys are doing well, and always remember to stay strong and hang in there. Glad to be back, guys. Missed you guys. And I'll probably be back tomorrow, most likely, if I'm not too busy. Uh, so, yeah. But missed you guys a lot. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.